hammer foot is a foot that will turn your fabric under twice and finish it off with a beautiful straight stitch. You'd probably recognize this stitch as the way that they finish hems on formal wear, but this is something that can be done as well on your baby lock machine. Let's take this over and take a look at this foot a little more closely. If you look right down in the front, you'll notice that there's a curl. And on the bottom of the foot, you can see that you've got some space here and in the back, which will allow your fabric to curl underneath and be able to be stitched on. Now I'm gonna start by just putting the foot on my machine. And then I'm going to grab my fabric and I'm going to begin using this nice piece of very fluid fabric, much like you would want to be able to stitch on. Now there's something I want to say about this foot and that is this, that this is one of those feet that you are going to probably not be successful with at first, but not to worry. Once you start understanding how the foot works and you've played around with it a little bit, you'll get better. So I've started a little bit in on my fabric and I also have it so that there's just a tiny bit over to the right. Once I've lowered my needle, I'm gonna lift the fabric up and then I'm going to lower my foot back down again. So watch how I take the fabric here and what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be forcing it to curl around. So I'm gonna be lifting up here using the stylus only so you can see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to tell you that when you're working with this foot, the very first few inches or so of the fabric is not going to be beautiful. What I'm doing here is I'm going to be forcing the fabric in and notice how the curling process is beginning. So here's a few things I want you to know. I want my fabric to go no farther than here and I don't want it to go any farther over on the top than right here and I'm starting to get a little heavy. So I'm gonna pull back on my fabric and I'm just gonna start stitching slowly so you can watch the action of this foot. Now I'm going to pause for a moment because I have a whole lot of whiskers on my fabric and that's because it's been abraded a little bit and I'm going to use a pair of scissors and I'm going to trim that off because there is no way that that's going to tuck in enough that I don't see it. And so you'll want to have a pair of scissors close by if your fabric does the same thing. So I'm not going really fast and I'm on a straight edge of fabric. Now, as I get closer to the end, if you take your eyes off, you might, like I'm starting to get to the end of my piece of fabric and it wants to kind of get out of my grasp. So this is where I'm going to have to be very purposeful about not just relaxing how it's coming in. So sometimes it's the beginning couple inches and at the end the last couple inches that sometimes doesn't turn out really well but let's take a look at this that's absolutely beautiful and it's a perfect finish so places where i've used this foot and this technique really were sashes on a girl's dress because if you make them extra long you can just cut away whatever didn't turn out perfectly but again totally worth the effort of learning how to use it and this does make something look absolutely beautiful and you can find this foot and many other beautiful feet at your local baby lock retailer